Pavan, the Global Innovation Program Manager at Avanade, and I'm going to be conducting your interview today. Um, oh, but before we frozen, can... I'm frozen. But can you still hear me? I can hear. Yeah, you're back again. That's good. Okay. Um, before we get started, are you able to give me a quick 30 second introduction of your company? Right. Uh, hello. We are the Silver Lining, or TSL for short. These are my uh, teammates, and yeah. This is Isa, I'm Tony, this is Alex, and you have Tom in the corner. We provide um, affordable, uh, sustainable, we'd like to say, and yeah, just really high quality pencil cases for uh, schools to pass on to uh, students for times of like exams or just for general use as well. But our speciality is the exam period. Perfect. Um, when you think about your experience that you've had so far, what was the biggest challenge or the biggest problem that you have encountered and how did you go about fixing it yeah, it keeps freezing so i'm not sure Let, you got you got the gist of that didn't yeah. you yeah, yeah. I, I can repeat it you want me to repeat the question i would say that the biggest problem that we had to face is in relation to the winter lockdown as i'm sure it affected you tremendously so one of the key ways in which it was quite difficult to actually shut off communication in person so in order to try and combat that, we decided to have a bi-weekly meeting. And we also were frequently communicating through um, messaging services such as WhatsApp and things like that in order to stay up to date and continue making progress with our product. Got it. Um, and when you think about your product and your initial plans at the beginning of the school year, versus oh, it's frozen again sorry we missed the beginning of that hold on let me turn off my camera and it might it might make it easier can you hear me better now yeah we yes. can hear you yeah okay good um when you think about the impact of covid which is obviously something that you probably weren't able to account for at the beginning of of the project how were you able to change the way you approach your product or your project um and and address the lockdown and the restrictions has it impacted you at all well um i guess that our business plan was that we would first assemble the uh, pencil case and it was kind of go around like uh, touring different schools in the area but obviously because of lockdown we can't do that in person anymore so we've like tried to make use of uh, online communication so stuff like emails and things like that but in terms of actually forming our products, aside from the communication issues within our team as a result of the lockdown, it hasn't really been too different because the way that we plan to like source our uh, resources in would have remained the same whether it was COVID or no COVID. I would say. At the laminate, remember that that you couldn't use that because you because you weren't. Oh yes, there. yes, yes. Oh, thank you. And as well, like we had um, for our like our USP, we were going to include like a little. Um, help sheet in the pencil case that would like guide students on how to like effectively do their exams just in case they need a, bit, a little bit more help and so um yeah so we managed to source a laminator from our school which is very very helpful thank you miss but unfortunately it's like i think it was a few weeks after we actually got the laminator that the school kind of shut because of the winter lockdown so we were kind of left in a bit of a uh this a pickle there got but it. yeah okay um, so when you think about, you, you've mentioned that obviously your customer for your product would be students undertaking exams. Um, what do you think is the best way for you to sell your product to them or, or talk to them? Is it in person? Is it via social media? Like what, how did you approach the actual communication to your client, to your customers? See, uh, our, so our like customers are uh, students, but I think primarily our customers are like the schools themselves. Like we need to sell ourselves to the schools, and they were to kind of pass on the pencil cases after. Mm -hmm. I feel like to like, properly advertise ourselves, we created like um like a poster. Like we try and like establish contact, establish a bit of a bit of a rapport, and then we lay, lay out like detailed detailed plans about what our product is. And what we intend to do is stuff like prices, profits, and things like that, just so they can have a clear picture and we can both see, and, and we both ensure that we're getting the best out of this uh, transaction. Got it. What makes your product unique? 
So why, why would the school... Sorry, that's purchase? not out again. So would you mind uh, repeating? Yep. What, what makes your product unique? Why would schools go with your product? Versus so buying in bulk. that we ourselves are students, so all of the products that are within our pencil case are products that we ourselves have used and have found to be the best in time in timing. Pardon? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Okay. So, so these are the products that we ourselves have used and we have found the best in terms of examination. So some of the reasons why we've chosen certain pencils and pens, for example. So with pens, we decided to choose a rollable pen because of the fact that for some people, such as myself, I'm left handed. It means I can't use a fountain pen or any other sort of pen, or it will smudge during the examination and obscure um, the work that I do. So we decided to select or hand select each of the different products that we ourselves have used and have found the best. And in terms of our physical USB, it's the A5 card that we spoke about previously, which details examination and revision techniques that we ourselves have found particularly useful for examinations. So I think that the key USB for us. Is the fact that we ourselves have created this product for fellow students to get the best out of what we have found for our examinations that we ourselves have done. I love it. And I love the example that you're left-handed, so products that exist in the marketplace don't always serve the need for, for everyone. So great add-on. Um, when you think about other products in the marketplace, so when you did your market research, have you seen anything else similar to what you're building or what you're creating? Well, in terms of similarities, yeah, we've, we've uh, well, online we've viewed a few, a few stores like, uh, like say, Tesco, Asda, WH Smith, and we've viewed all their offering, but I personally find that with stuff like uh, Tesco and Asda, like, obviously they are quite a bit cheap, like they're on the cheaper end of the spectrum, but I find that the quality is not, it's not the best. Mm. And for places like WH Smith, it's like the quality is, yeah, it's, it's okay, but the price you're paying for it, I don't feel like that's the price you should be paying for stationary, something which I would kind of class as a necessity. So I feel yeah. like we've got to bridge the gap between like affordable, but also like quality as well, because as a student myself, I don't want to be using stationary that's, that's bristle and it's going to like fail me during an exam. I'll be mm. one of the most important uh, like times of my life. Like I need something reliable and affordable as well, because not everyone has the money to be splashing out like a lot of like cash just on the stationery. Perfect. When you think about your overall experience during this project, what's the best thing that you've learned? Uh, so I think the best thing we've learned is basically coming together as a team to create something unique and together push that forward onto a marketplace and basically express what we feel needs to be seen in the market. Um, and we, all of us came together when thinking of our idea for, for, for a uh, business and we all felt very passionate about the pencil case and thought it was an ideal necessity uh, that students need to have. And through that passion, we came together and we were assigned different roles. Um, we got the CEO, uh, secretary, marketer and financial director. And through that, we basically worked together uh, to build our passion and push it. Great. If you were to change one thing, and I know Angie's giving me the, the, <laughs> the countdown here. If you were to change one thing, what would it be, which is not the lockdown? <laughs> I think that the big issue that we faced in particular is the given fact that examinations have been cancelled for GCSEs and A-levels and also to a certain extent for the 13 plus and 11 plus examinations that were supposed to occur. So for us, our key market to a certain extent has disappeared. Although I think that the key thing that we have done and in order to try and combat this is through the better use of direct communications with schools. So for internal examinations of which are now going to decide GCC and A-level examinations. So I think that we've been quite good in combating it to a certain extent. So I, I would say that the shift in the market is dependent on COVID restrictions to a certain extent, but of course, for the cancelling of examinations and the change in the examination process that has occurred. Great. Awesome. Great answers. I can see the passion. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. It was it was really impressive report and uh, 